Hey guys, um, today I want to talk to you about your litter box and how do you keep it smelling fresh and how do you also keep it a healthy environment for your cat. A lot of people don't realize those highly fragranced litters, and I've talked about this before in my How to Stop Your Cat from Spraying video, um, you know, they actually make your cat not want to use the litter box and they're also not that great for their health as well or yours from you know while, while you're changing it. Um, the dust alone um, from the litter box is not good to begin with for either you or your cat um, but then you're adding these extreme smells um, you know that are trying to mask the odor well when you mask the odor number one you can make your cat not want to use the litter box because they actually do want to smell their own smell that kind of makes them want to go back to that particular spot to use the bathroom so if you're having a cat that's all of a sudden peeing out of the litter box and you've recently switched to the one of these new high-powered smelling litters nine out of ten it's the litter um, what do I use? Uh, what I switched to months ago was unscented clumping litter. Guess what, guys? It's like half or a quarter of the price, so you're saving money. Okay, you're like, okay, well, unscented litter, how do you keep the smell down? Again, something natural. I line both. As you see, I've got two cats. And I have a litter box for each cat that is very important, especially when you have males. And I do have two males. Okay, they're both fixed, but still, they're males. So, um, I use baking soda. Again, something natural. I, I line my pans with it. I put a nice coating on the bottom, and then I put my litter on top. That alone has cut the smell down by at least 50 to 60 percent. Again, if you're cleaning your litter boxes the way we should, which is every day or every other day at the very longest, because remember, you want to keep that litter box clean so that cats are finicky. So, if you're again, if you're having a cat going out of the box, this could be why you're not cleaning your litter box enough. My protocol is every day, it takes me less than five minutes to clean two litter boxes every single day. Um, now, I use the dome type. Now, some cat, my because I have one cat that is what I call a high peer, okay? He doesn't squat, he sprays. So, it would be everywhere if I didn't have this type of litter box. But I do know that recently I've seen it in a couple chain stores, um, in a couple pet stores, they have a high-sided litter box. So people that have high peers, well, try that. But for me, I like the domes. But now, with the domes, that also can make your cat go out of the box that they don't like to feel enclosed. If you have a cat that's a little bit like that, do not get the smaller version of these. Make sure you go ahead and pay that extra dollar or two to go with the larger box. Now, also to cut down on your smell is make sure that you're switching your litter boxes at least two to three times a year. I, my protocol is I throw my litter boxes away three times a year. I replace them with new. Um, these litter boxes range from $14 to $17, but I figure the fact that, you know, I mean, you don't have to do it three times a year. You could do it just twice a year, but it's not that much of an investment um, as far as, you know, keeping your cat going to the same litter box making sure they have a cleaner, you know, environment. And as you see, this one particular one has uh, what's called, it has some kind of something in the line and that has a, a micro band in it or something that helps from um, the microbes forming and all that stuff. So um, this is a really good litter box. I've really enjoyed it. Um, but the main thing is, guys, unscented clumping litter and baking soda. It's going to cut down on that smell. And it's also going to make your cat want to go to the bathroom. It's going to be healthier for them. It's not good for them to be smelling for their lungs with all those, you know, chemicals in it to make it, those perfumes in it to make it smell that way. And it's definitely not good for us, you know, who are changing these litter boxes every day to every other day. So, guys, I hope this helps you. I hope that you'll go out and try some unscented litter and some baking soda. They are very small investments. Um... I'm actually only spending $3.99 for 14 pounds. Yes, it's that cheap. 
And I mean, baking soda, I can get that anytime, anywhere for 40 cents for a large box and it lasts a long time. So guys, I hope this has helped you. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up and keep your um, house from smelling like cat poop. Bye.